a math PhD may even find this middle school geometry problem hard at the first glance. See if you can do it. Find the purple area. That's the question. This is a quarter of the larger disk, and inside of it is the smaller disk. And the only measure that we know is this. It's 12. It's basically a horizontal line segment that is tangent to the smaller disk. At the first glance, I feel like something must be missing because like, there are so many ways to put a smaller disk inside of this quarter disk, right? Like we can make it this small and say this has a measurement of 12. How come no matter how small this, this disk is, the purple area is always the same, right? However, if you do just the one magic line like this, you can work out the exact area. All right, let's first see what's this purple area. Well, it's the area of the bigger quarter disk, which is 1 over 4 pi. Let's say this disk has radius a, then it's pi a squared divided by 4 because it's just a quarter. And then what's the smaller disk area? Let's say, if this is B, did you recognize B is actually twice the radius of the smaller disk? So what's the area of the smaller disk? It's pi B over two squared. All right, let's just simplify. So it's one fourth pi A squared minus one fourth pi B squared. And we keep simplify, it's pi a squared minus b squared. And what is a squared minus b squared? Well, notice that this is the right triangle. a squared minus b squared equals to 12 squared by Pythagorean theorem. This is 36 pi. We got it. 